last 10 years, the mobile games industry has truly come a long way. When we started in 2004, we dreamt of devices far more powerful, capable of running console quality games. Equipped with GPS, we dreamt of powerful networks, cool middleware. That all happened five years ago, and what we are witnessing now is the start of something truly amazing. First time I came here, maybe it was a half day or just one day judging. We had to increase that to two days of judging. The background of judges also changed, so we have more people, more people from North America. That's quite nice. I think in the beginning, IMG was a little bit like European thing. My name is Maud Garrett. Um, I'm a television presenter and I host a radio show and I'm an entertainment reporter. And I also started um, a company called Geekbomb. Well, I'm a gamer. Uh, and I've been playing games for a very long time. So to sit in a room with the sole purpose of playing a game just to see if it's any good is my version of heaven. Ten years ago, uh, Marcel decided to uh, support uh, the creation of the IMGN because we uh, wanted to support the industry and a lot of uh, key players uh, were already in, uh, in Marseille. So we we're very proud to have been one of the founders. Right now it's the largest uh, competition in, in the world and we will keep on supporting the IMG in the next years. The judging has been really fun. I mean, it's interesting to play such a wide variety of games and stuff that I may never have even encountered while I'm reviewing games. So it's good to see stuff from all over the world and kind of niche stuff and weird stuff, and I love that. Yeah, we've been involved pretty much since the start, uh, either myself or my colleagues. So we've been, we're around about the same time uh, as a business as, as the IMGAs has been around. I think they're less chaotic than they used to be when I, when I first got involved. I think it was all, it's got more professional. You can see the quality has changed, the quality bars raised a lot, I think. The sort of games, it's always been about innovation and it's kind of stayed that way, but maybe it's a little bit more about kind of commercial success, a little bit more now, and it's just the way the, the way the industry's gone as well, it's kind of tracked that a little bit. The first uh, IMGA was featured for um, games. I remember submitting a game and winning a prize back in 2008. Back then it was the devices, it wasn't really best for games and then it suddenly changed in 2010 and it's uh, remarkable how quickly uh, IMGA adjusted to smartphone gaming. Winning an award adds value in the form of discovery of your game. But it also adds value to your company. All of a sudden, you're an award-winning company. Really proud to receive this award, really proud for the team. It's a dream capsule, baby. 
servants of the Swedish game developers. The winner of the People's Choice by four is Five Ants and Romeo for Tiny Thief. Give it up for them, please. For the jury's honorable mention. The winner of that one is Tale of Tales from Luxuria Superbia. Thank you. <laughs> Especially Johanna for the awesome graphic.